Hey guys, this is Kat, aka Resistant Borg, and today we're going to be discussing the manga and comics that I've hauled over the past few months. So you'll notice that I've hauled less comics, and that's because my comic book collection is already pretty substantial. My dad actually collects comics, and so I've been reading them since, you know, I could read pretty much. With manga, it's much newer for me. I've been reading it since middle school, but only really collecting physical manga since January. So that's really the collection that I'm kind of focusing on right now. The way this video is going to be organized is we're going to go over comics first because I really haven't uh, hauled that many comics this year. Then we're going to go over single volumes of manga and then multiple volumes in a series. To start us off with comics, I got Kaiju number 8 for free comic book day. I'm not extremely familiar with the series, but again, it was for free comic book day, so I had to get it. I know it's technically manga, but since it's in the comic format and I got it for comic book day, I'm just going to count it in this uh, category. Now up next is something I'm extremely excited about, which is the first issue of the newest Poison Ivy run. I've been seeing so many videos about this on TikTok and YouTube, just really hyping up the series, and Poison Ivy is one of my favorite characters, so I'm really excited to read it. Now, we have um, something that's more of a volume than an issue, which is Saga Volume 2. I've been reading Saga since it first came out, but I did take kind of a gap with it where I only read Volume 1. I reread it this year and I'm really excited to dive further into the series, so we got Saga Volume 2. Uh, last but not least, this was actually not something I was planning on adding to my collection, but one of the guys at my favorite comic book shop re recommended it to me, and so, you know, when you trust your guys at the comic book shop, you want to listen to them, and that is the ink call. So this is a sci-fi classic, and the artwork just really... Uh, I just, like, come on. I had to get this. The minute he recommended it, I was like, you're coming home with me. So this is something I'm really excited to get into as a sci-fi fan um, and a classic sci-fi fan, so I'll definitely be posting a review once I finish this up. So now that we've finished with comics, we're going to be talking about single volumes in a series that I've collected for manga. Now starting off we have Witch Hat Atelier. I started reading it the other day just kind of on a whim and I'm already obsessed with it. I'm already planning on collecting the entire series even though I'm only on volume one. I just cannot recommend this enough. The art style, just the story, everything, please check it out. Uh, up next we have Snow White with the Red Hair. I've been really wanting to get into shoujo recently. I've never really read any shoujo manga, so this comes highly recommended. Um, and so we'll see. Like, I haven't read it yet, but I have volume one now. Another classic shoujo, I have Nana. I actually picked this up randomly at a comic book show we took my dad to for Father's Day. And so I, you know, saw it. I wanted to check it out. So I have that. This is another one I saw highly recommended and wanted to check out, so I got volume one of Mao. This was another kind of on the whim purchase. My birthday is coming up, so I've been treating myself a little bit more than usual, but I'm excited to check this out. Now, another one which is honestly, I know this is going to be in my top five manga that I've ever read, my top five series, volume one of Tokyo Ghoul. I've read a little bit on the Shonen Jump app, but with the art style, I think that a physical copy would just give me a better appreciation for it, so I picked up volume one. I'm definitely planning on collecting the series, and I can't wait to dive further into the story. Last but not least is my top series right now, the one that I'm most obsessed with, if you can't tell by the print in the back, Blue Exorcist volume 26. Oh, this cover is... Mm. I started reading it actually right when it went on hiatus, so I had enough time to catch up to the series, um, and now it's back from hiatus, and I'm just really excited for the end of the story, seeing how she ends it, and seeing, you know, where these characters on their journey go. I, I definitely think this is something that you will go into it and you'll either like it or you won't, and that's totally fine. I really liked it, so... I am planning on collecting the entire series. Alrighty, so up next we have multiple volumes in a series that I've collected, and this pile is pretty substantial, so let's just jump right into it. 
Up first, we have a series that has quickly become a new favorite of mine, and I think that's just the consensus across all of Animanga, you know, spaces on the internet, which is Spy Family. So I have volume two and volume three, and that's adding on to the rest of my collection on the shelves. I just cannot recommend this enough. I'm excited to continue reading the series. I'm all the way caught up, and I definitely want to collect all of the physicals that I can find. So, it's my family. Um, up next, we have the series that got me back into anime and manga last June, which is Jujutsu Kaisen. I have Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 0 and Volume 1. Um, this is, again, adding to the collection that I already have. I just... Mm, JJK is peak for me. Up next, I have something that took me a little bit to get used to, but now that I'm used to the art style, I'm really into it, which is Mob Psycho. I have Volume 1 and Volume 3. The covers are definitely my favorite covers of any manga that I have in my collection, and since I'm a huge fan of One Punch Man, I don't know if you could see that back there, I wanted to give this series a chance, and I'm very happy I did. So, Mob Psycho. Up next, we have another favorite of mine. Again, I don't really collect anything that I don't love reading, um, is Chainsaw Man. So I have volume one and volume three. This is adding on to the volume two that I have currently sh sitting on my shelf. And oh, sorry, I just opened up to a really awesome page, but since the anime d hasn't come out yet, I'm not like showing spoilers, but I just cannot recommend this series enough. And last but not least, um, this was such a random buy for me. I was not planning on buying this at all. It was the same comic show that I bought Nana at, uh, Case Closed, Volumes 1 through 4. Basically, I was standing at this guy's booth and I just picked it up to look at it and my mom put all four volumes in my hand and was just like, you're buying this. And I was like, I'm buying it. But now that I've done a little bit more research into the series, I'm excited. It's so... Mm. I just love little detective series, so I'm excited to check this out. Alrighty, that's it. That was actually not as bad as I thought it was. The pile was just so substantial on my dresser that I was like, I've spent so much money and I where am I going to put these things? But it wasn't that bad. With my birthday coming up, I'm going to be trying to buy either the Assassination Classroom box set or the Demon Slayer box set, so that'll be the real splurge. Um, if you check out any of these series, please let me know. If you have any recommendations, especially for shoujo, because I really am trying to get more into that, uh, also let me know. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time!